Hey everyone, um, welcome to another one of our how-to videos um, and this one I'm going to demonstrate how you can watch UK TV abroad on an iPad as the iPads now become very popular with users and our customers. Um, if you haven't seen any of our videos before or if you haven't visited our website check us out first at UKTV2C.com um, and this is our home page you can see here and this is um, our latest uh, version of our website now showing on uh, my iPad Air and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to just do some basic demonstrations just to show you that um, using our uh, UK TV VPN package, which you can see if I click over here on the left hand side, uh, we've got a UK VPN for iPad, iPhone and Android. And this package is just $9.99 a month, which is just, you know, absolutely, absolute bargain. And you'll be able to access basically a BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, BBC Four, CBBC, CBBS, uh, BBC Parliament, Alba, and of course the iPlayer sites like BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, 4OD Demand Five, and of course ITV also streams live ITV One through ITV Four. So, um, what do you need to do is go to our site and um, find this this package and then click on the order now button and you'll find that you'll just have to complete a very short sign up form and we will send you over your username and password for your VPN so what is a VPN? Well VPN is a virtual private network and what you'll find with most of uh, the iPlayer type sites like BBC iPlayer and 4OD and Demand5 is that when you try to access it abroad it doesn't work. Um, so I'll demonstrate that to you now because I'm going to go to the App Store and just go through the sort of usual uh, procedures that you do. So let's go BBC iPlayer because I've just removed that from my machine so I can just demonstrate that this is what happens. So you can download the, the software package and then once we try to, to run it and then watch any TV we're going to get the bad news that we can't because we're not inside the country but that's all going to change once the VPN starts running. So we'll just let this finish downloading, it's coming down quite quickly. Okay, it looks like it's nearly done. There you go, okay, so let's open iPlayer. Okay, so this is the first screen you see. What I'm going to do now is go down the bottom and just click TV. And we could, you know, we could sort of go through various different things. Let's have a look at most popular. Okay, so Sherlock series three just started. So let's see if we can watch episode one and see what it says when we try to watch it. And there you go. Outside UK, BBC iPlayer is only available within the United Kingdom. So we can't watch that right now, but we can with the VPN. So what will happen is once you've signed up to the UK TV2C's VPN system we'll send you through your VPN username and password and what you'll need to do is as I just showed I'll just go back you'll click on the settings icon on your iPad and you'll go down to general here on the left hand side. Once the general uh, page is loaded you, you need to go to the VPN option down the bottom here and what you'll do is you'll add a VPN configuration and you're basically into your your server name, your account, your password, a, a, a description and a few other details and press save. And uh, once all your details are saved you can then basically log on to the VPN and then once you see this green icon here in the corner you know that it's logged on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch BBC iPlayer and you should see a big big difference. So if we go and try play it again Here we have it. We're now watching Sherlock. So as you can see there's no lag in the stream quality. It's really, really quick. It's really, really sharp. It's really great. It's excellent in fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click done. And just to give you a quick demo, I'm just going to go and run ITV player just so you can see the other apps running because this works right across the board. Once you're on the VPN you can watch anything you want. Now I don't use this one very often so I'm just gonna have a little play around and see what we've got. Let's have a look. 
Let's watch the Jeremy Carl show, shall we? On today's show, you said that ever since you got with your new girlfriend, Mel, who's yeah. 17, she now, totally jealous, yeah. stops you from seeing the kids. Go on, go on, go on. Okay. I think that's about as much as I can take of Jeremy Carl. Um, all right, let's try 4OD. I just want to demonstrate that to you. Um, you can con continue without a sign in sometimes um, annoyingly 4OD tries to get you to register. Let's watch uh, George Clark on Restoration Man because that's a pretty cool show. Um, series 3. Here we go. Okay. So let's watch episode 1 of the new series which just started. My friend Louise has the most stunning new hair colour. What's her secret? Actually, it's so nice again, you've got to watch a commercial. It says here, program starts in just over two minutes, so it should be too long. But again, you can see that the stream quality, the image, everything's absolutely crystal clear. No buffering whatsoever. It's really, really fast. So, so you can watch all the on-demand sites and... Uh, Pretty much have a free reign in what you want to watch. So, you know, UK TV is once again yours just by a simple little VPN install. Across Britain, thousands of historic buildings have been neglected. So there you go, this is George Clark's Restoration Man. Again, streaming absolutely perfectly. No buffering, no lag. Some really, really top dollar. Take on the challenge of converting and restoring these forgotten gems. So it's come out of there. So as you can see, that that was 4OD demonstrated. So you know now that if you get UK TV 2C's VPN, you can pretty much watch all of the uh, iPlayer sites. So um, this is the package you want. You want the UK VPN for iPad, iPhone, and Android if you want to watch it, it on any of those devices. And like I said, it's $9.99 a month. And here's the list of the channels or the uh, the iPlayer sites you can um, you can uh, access. So get yourself over to uktv2c.com and uh, sign up. And check out some of our other videos where I'll demonstrate how to use SkyGo abroad, where you can get over 40 premium Sky channels on your iPad. And uh, there's also some other videos showing you how to access particular shows and uh, also Slingbox systems. So thanks for watching and leave some feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye.